So here, back to our gorilla folder, I'm then going to go through the whole process of creating another metahuman. So metahuman character, I'm going to call this gorilla. Just let that finalize. There we go. Hit save again. Double click on this guy here. We're finally into the fun part. So here comes up, we have our, um, what's essentially the, um, the starter mesh for MetaHuman. Here in the middle, we're going to go, uh, we don't need to go to a preset or anything like that. We can just keep it straight up, just work straight from here. So we're going to go to body, conform from template down the bottom here where it says mesh we're going to go over to our meshes click on our gorilla body and this little arrow here will go will load our mesh uh, we can leave the rest as default and hit import and that will conform our body mesh to our gorilla mesh which is pretty damn cool look at that guy Anyone who uh, is coming from Maya and coming into um, uh, Unreal, one of the things you're going to want to do is go into Edit, Editor Preferences, which is here, and then in the search bar, type Invert, and then you're going to scroll down here, and where it says Middle Invert Middle Mouse Pan, you're going to tick that on, and then it will act just like it does in Maya and you will love life so pretty cool there is our body conformed put the skin on looks very funny looks very weird which I love <laughs> uh, nice big red lips bit of a weird Goomba so you'll notice that the uh, face doesn't quite look like the gorilla. The proportions have changed quite a bit, but the nose is still quite um, quite bulbous. Where gorillas' um, noses are uh, flat, they don't have the same sort of cartilage that we have, and the lips are still quite human-like. Uh, whereas gorillas do not have all this extra flesh here. So uh, we're going to go into the head section, back to conform from template. This time we are selecting our head mesh and loading it into the mesh down the bottom here. Um, you can also um, use uh, eye meshes and teeth meshes. Um, gorillas do have uh, some more oversized teeth, but what I have found is that if I brought in the teeth at this stage, then the face rig doesn't work as well and you get a lot of penetration through the gums and things like that so what I found was it's better to make the meta gorilla with the default teeth then export the teeth and do our little adjustments to make the nice big incisors so uh, as a bonus down uh, as a bonus down the track I will show you the teeth update but importantly here, we want to turn off Adapt Neck, and we also want to turn our alignment options to None. And then if we hit Conform, there we go. There is our very sexy gorilla face. And that's pretty much all the hard work done. Once we have our MetaHuman Mesh, actually sculpted or wrapped to our gorilla or whatever mesh you're trying to make whatever character you're trying to make that's all the hard work done because now it's very simply just plug and play he is looking gorgeous and when we go to skin again super hilarious 
Look at that big beautiful boy. Clay view is also really nice. 